Welcome to Dallas Vinch Toys Talks. Episode 15? 462. Uh, Actually, we've been doing this for a long time. I guess I'll correct it on uh, when I upload it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, anyway. My name's Andy. You can't see me probably because I'm behind these toys. That's Henry Velasquez. This is the owner of Dallas Vintage Toys, Sean Ninus. Voltra! An ooh daddy to you gentlemen. Ooh. An ooh daddy to you guys. Ooh. How's ooh everyone doing? We're covered in toys, so I think yeah, we're doing we pretty are. well. Andy, are you over there? Yeah. <laughs> You guys aren't allowed to make co eye contact. Okay. We can't. I don't want you teaming up on my. The sexual tension between Sean and I is already just palpable. So <laughs> if we make eye contact, it'll just get worse. <laughs> <laughs> but welcome to the home of all things geeks and toys. Welcome to Dallas Vintage Toys Talks. Uh, well, let's kick it off with uh, everything on this table. Uh, we're, we were gone for a week, but we're back. We're mm -hmm. stronger than ever. And so many toys came in while we were taking our hiatus, so ooh, let's take a look ooh. at a bunch of them. So I think we should start off strong and talk about the best thing on the table, Toy Viz. Toy, <laughs> Toy Viz. And Toy those are Viz. priced to move, right? Yes. yes. yes they are. Ah, these are up here because, well, specifically this Wolverine figure that uh, you can see right there. When we did our show a couple weeks back, mm -hmm. uh, our top favorite uh, toys from our childhood. This yeah. Wolverine was on mine. It's near and dear to your heart. It. Oh, sorry. Okay. Ah! So, so that's the one. This is the one. Okay. Mom. Uh, Stand still. I have one of these already carded, but we had how many of these? Probably like fifteen, twenty. Oh, we had. Maybe, it looked like what was in. the entire X Force collection, and then some of the regular uh, X Men. Yeah. But. Ooh. That's and those are how much? Two bucks. Two dollars. Two or a dollar ninety nine. Dollar ninety nine. Oh, save a less. Whoa, save a penny. Under less two dollars. Two dollars. <laughs> That is in store only, so if you're in the DFW area and you're into the toy biz, if you got a twenty dollar bill, you can get the whole set. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You want to feel like a king, bring twenty bucks. Well, to it was like, yeah, toys. I did the map, and it was just like it was still under forty bucks, and you'd walk away with like eighteen toys. <laughs> but we also have Rogue <laughs> sitting here. Put this guy uh, down. And also the second edition of Apocalypse, which is by far the superior version of Apocalypse. I can't believe I covered line. up his face though with that price tag. <laughs> but that one does look a lot better than the original. The other one has like snake price eyes. Price tag, man. You no, know, you ugly. <laughs> we come up that face. Uh, I also have sitting up here a couple of uh, Play Arts Kai Femme Fatale figures. Uh, the, the film <laughs> version of Catwoman and the really awesome Arkham City edition of Poison Ivy. I recently have kind of gotten into Play Arts Kai. I've bought three thus far. You want to open up those windows real yeah. quick? Check them out. I always liked uh, toys that you're able to display like this. If you can take yeah, a look at what they're it's buying. really nice that you can. You don't have to, if you're a collector who likes mm -hmm. to leave stuff in box. You can still check out the toy. Exactly. Out, which is always appreciated. I'm probably gonna set these ladies on the floor though, so they're get them out of my grill. But. The piece a la resistance. Yeah, for that's, me, that came that's in this not week. all that Andy's got. Is it's a big dude. This big old dude. <laughs> that is more Hellboy than any one person deserves. That's 18 really inches of fun. It yes, came in last it's, night. It's, it's and it's gorgeous. Must be the first to come and see it. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, if you're interested, I would say get here quick because it probably won't be here very long. No, it's a really awesome toy. Someone was already turning by yesterday. Oh, oh really? Won't say his name, but. Uh, Usually sits here. <laughs> Those who shall Rob, not be Rob, named. I wanted it. Well, I wanted it. Hopefully he comes in. But he I got he got him. sick. He's not. He, he wasn't able to come in. But we'll see. Uh, which one of you gentlemen would like to go next? I think we should talk about uh, Sean's kitties. Bunch of Ultron. Yeah, we have two more. I didn't want to fill up the whole table. Yeah, but, there's uh, the last week was the uh, week of Voltron. I yeah, guess. Yeah, that's so what I've heard. If you want a Voltron, we have a little bit of everything and. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a uh, factory case of 1986 G.I. Joe Tomahawks, and uh, we oh, sent yeah. those off to get graded. Nice. Factory seal? Nice. Right? Yeah. Wow. There were six of them, so uh, That's those cool. should be back in about a month or so. We graded the case, like the whole, all six of them in one. In one Not <laughs> each one individually. Two people well, asked me uh, <laughs> to do that, and I was like, you just see a brown box. Yeah, yeah, so yeah it'd be uh, nuts. This cardboard is subpar. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The toys inside, we would give it. <laughs> We'd give the toys inside a 90, but What's it's in the cardboard is about a 60. Prove us wrong, though. <laughs> Prove us wrong. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you would think 
honestly, with how hot the the Netflix series, series has been, would want to keep it. I would think that Voltron would have been something we wouldn't see much. of. I hadn't seen it yet, so I was under the assumption that it sucked and everyone was getting rid of their product. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna have to lift this here in a second. Okay, I'll. I'll but uh, the one that Andy just got, uh, we have that one loose as well. So there's this one in the box, and then that one loose. The one under it's a slightly bigger version, and then on the website we have the one from Toynami that has That's the book. Right, uh, the we just sold the one from Mattel a few I weeks ago. I think we have like six or seven Voltrons now, so everyone is always asking, like, got Voltron. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Why you playing? Where you at? Get on down here. <laughs> um, well, Mr. Velasquez, why don't you uh, round us up? Well, I hope you guys can see this guy. Devastator. Oh, Devastator. But we have a Comic Con. Hi guys. <laughs> yeah, the Comic Con Devastator. Far more superior than any Voltron, really. <laughs> oh, do you have, like the metallic one? Yeah, it's got the metallic it. chest piece <laughs> and then uh, some of the pieces on the bottom as well. None of it on the arm. Uh, but it's still really cool and it's nice because this one already comes assembled. A lot of people aren't going to keep them in, uh, in robot mode. So, I mean, uh, vehicle mode. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you want to keep them on display, this is a nice one. Uh, the shiny pieces. Big, nice, unique box as opposed to the other one that's just your average Combiner Wars box. Uh, that's uh, that Devastator. Who wins in a fight, Devastator or Voltron? I'd say Voltron. Um, individually. Individually, I think Voltron. You mean individually. Like if they're each separated oh, and not united. Lions versus, lions versus uh, a yeah, bunch of trucks. Really, I think yeah. the trucks are going to lose. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think they're evenly matched if they're. Yeah. Lion, lion trumps uh, uh, construction equipment. Any day. I'm pretty sure that's, in, pretty sure that's like in the Ten Commandments. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Lion um, trumps. <laughs> pitch can pitch <laughs> and, uh, Hustle, loyalty, respect as well. <laughs> <laughs> that's, actually, that's actually what these guys are: is hustle, loyalty, and respect. Ah, uh, and then and dead lady, <laughs> <laughs> deadly, Wear, wearable. So you know, yeah, Halloween's just, just around the corner. Don't even need to open it up. You just yeah. You know. Halloween's right around the corner. If you guys want that, um, I've had lots of fun with this guy. I already bought mine. We still got him and a few other Muppets. Uh, but he's really cool. I actually prefer this animal over the Palisades one. But I do like the Palace of Stage over these kits. Uh, but together, they form a mighty band studio set. So Henry's been posting some really cool pictures of those on his Instagram. You can follow Pin him at Retro Henry. Mm -hmm. Retro all one, Henry. All one word. All one word at, on Instagram. They don't let you all caps it either. Yeah. Um, but we got this <coughs> this guy. I don't know. Did we show him off last time? I can't remember. I don't think we had it last time. Because I came in while I was uh, in Colorado. That's so. right, yeah. Yeah, well, I actually really like this guy. His weapons are a bit more unique. It's got the uh, this gun right here that comes with the clip, and then the revolver, and then another shotgun as usual, because it's not Terminator if he doesn't have a shotgun. Mm -hmm. But actually, I like this one a lot more than the first version. Really? Yeah. I bought the first one. Like, we had this one that came out a few months ago. I have a whole shelf. Yeah, I have a whole shelf of just Arnold Schwarzenegger's right now. Yeah. And I'm just like, man, I don't know if I want to buy another one. But oh, Andy, I love you. Yeah. It's, just, it's just not. <laughs> Arnold, it's just not. Why don't you buy more of me? Leather jacket. <laughs> You know? Yeah. So if it's if it doesn't have like leather jacket, I just I don't want that Arnold. I get you. So even like the one from I Genesis. Like the, the techno, like the the, the straight so like you if know, they made 80s. A, 80s. Like, I do like the t-shirt he's wearing under that. So if, if they I made like a NECA twins. Oh my, Arnold. Would, oh my god. Would you not buy that? <laughs> I probably would. Like just a have, it would be more for the Danny DeVito. Or kindergarten job. <laughs> that would be sweet too. <laughs> it's not a Puma. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't have a leather jacket, by the Andy. <laughs> um, but I, I don't know. Are they done with the Terminator line? Do you know? I doubt it. I, doubt it. I mean, so they're much selling stuff. pretty well. I mean, oh, well, sure you they... told me they were going to make another T-1000, right? Yeah, they are. They're making Sweet. them in like, the, uh, the police officer like with the, the glasses and the helmet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, nice, nice. And then... But they can make another Sarah Connor. They can make John Connor still. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. Would you buy a John Connor? If they gave him good but, accessories. I mean, did anyone they buy that? Make uh, his aunt and uncle. <laughs> did anyone, <laughs> did anyone <laughs> buy the kid from Home Alone? Because that, so. that'd be the equivalent of buying that. Online all the time. Do you? Yeah. I always see it on, all the time, but it's I, you on see shelves. It mean people are buying it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I see them all the time on shelves, but I don't see them. Oh, else. burn! <laughs> Tell us about this cool guy. Um, well, this, this is from is, 3A. This is the membership uh, subscription. Um, so basically you weren't buying the toy, you were buying the subscription which gives you discounts and everything else. Um, came with a cool packaging and a few other things inside of it. 
but I actually just like the toy. He looks really cool. They've made others in the series. Um, the other ones will have these tanks on the front, though. This is the first one that has it on the back. Mm. Good detail, nice scale, and just, I really like toys like this are just like straight up like really army, you know? Mm-hmm. If, it, if those older G.I. Joes, like the 90s ones and the ones before them, weren't so just like real military and goofy, and they were a lot darker and cooler like this, I'd, I'd be all over them. Mm -hmm. But like I've recently started one, I'm really tempted to get into the, that Acid Rain line because they're so, they're, they're just like this, mm -hmm. but they're smaller. Yeah. So. I'm, I'm I mean, a big fan of the look. Oh, the, the design. Like, we, we had this discussion. I, I said it looks like Hydra mm -hmm. and the Hellgast from the Killzone video games joined forces, and then they started worshipping Cthulhu. <laughs> it just, like, I love, like, how the the uh, the gas mask and the tubing looks like tentacles. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if that was the intention they were going for, but... Uh, possibly. It's it looks got a really weird awesome. It's just really weird uh, it design. Me of the guy from the Pirates of the Caribbean. Hold yeah, up. yeah. Uh, Davy Jones. Davy Jones. And also, if you've seen the movie Sucker Punch, it kind of looks like what they made the Nazis look like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because they, they're like, they figure out a way to, to reanimate the, their soldiers, and so they're yeah. in like these big, you know, like gas mask things mm -hmm. that keep them alive and stuff pretty cool but yeah he actually like i have him set up next to the jim gordon where he's got his his swan uniform and they look really that's good next to true. Hmm? that's a backup yeah they, they okay, look good I together just, just go in there <laughs> yeah they just they look really good next to each other cool so what are we talking about about well uh, the toys we bought yeah i was on the uh, line <laughs> last night trying to find something and i found stumbled across, across this website called ranker um which henry was telling me there's a there's a internet like show we watch that that's where it comes from puppet club a, puppet club it's a puppet pro wrestling club. thing <laughs> but they put out a um a list it's um 45 childhood toys with missing pieces that you definitely lost so we all collected and it's all from kind of the era that we collected mm -hmm. um so uh not everything is action figure related so we'll probably skip over those okay but uh i, I mean you could just you go could fill that whole list with star wars accessories you could yeah exactly um but I thought we could go through this and discuss, I'm sure we've all got tidbits and uh, nice little stories from our childhood about losing stuff. I will lose entire toys. Yes. <laughs> but uh, number one, this one really resonated with me. It's all non-canon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle weapons. So like the first four <laughs> turtles and like in the villains, you know, they all came with those those little brown. Throwing stars. Yep. Throwing, yeah, throwing, throwing stars. stars a the, rack. Yes, and the little rack and everything like that. And I can't. If I had a dollar for every empty little rack we've got in the warehouse, oh my god, I'd be a rich man. Yep. There's so many of them back there. Mm -hmm. But uh, every time we find one of the stores, we'll just hold on to it. We give it to Andy so Andy can take care of it. <laughs> oh, well, let's, Andy let's, just throws in the. And rack I throw it in the trash. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants it. Uh, to gain its value, because the more Andy throws away, the higher the value of the store. We're doing you guys a favor. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember one day we found. I think someone sold us a turtle collection. Mm -hmm. And in it, there was a little Ziploc bag of nothing but the throwing stars. And we were just like, it's like a gold mine because mm -hmm. no one has those. And that was that was pretty awesome. But yeah, it's just, I think I don't think I kept any Ninja Turtle weapons when I was a kid. Other than the main ones? Yeah, like, exactly. Just, so you were throwing them away even way back then? Probably I'm, I'm sure getting, I was dropping them and they were getting vacuumed. And he's like, I need to find a warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> the like seven-year-old me. Problem yeah. is, they don't, give you, they don't give you anywhere to put these. I know they give you the rack, but when you open it and you look at it, you're like, what the hell? You think the rack is just a part of the little, mm -mm. The little thing to hold them. So then you end up losing them because they're not being worn. Oh, I know when I was a kid, I popped them out of the rack and threw the rack away. Yeah. I thought that's all that was. Yeah. Was, uh, know, an attachment to that. I thought the sheet. throwing stars should be pushed on the rack. It can be, yeah. yeah. But no, we were kids. Yeah. We didn't know. And it doesn't tell you on the, it doesn't tell you on the, on the card or anything. Right? And you are guys too. You're like, I'm not reading these instructions back then. <laughs> <laughs> Forget that. The turtle's got a beat up shredder. I ain't got time for this crap. <laughs> no. You look, you're a kid and you're like, okay, nine, nine more toys to get. Okay. Mm hmm open it up and toss it and you're done then you're like whoa a 34 bag 34 more <laughs> than a 50 something you're like oh come on what else right. man number two what was any um any detachable superhero cape mm. which i think i had many a capeless batman action figure when i was a kid but that being said like you remember having the kenner batman figures like the um the movie one where they had just like that that metal like half circle yeah they clipped on the neck and then it had the cloth 
I don't think I had an action figure that I didn't know what it looked like with Batman's cape. You know what I mean? Like, I'd be like, hmm, let's see how Raphael looks with this. No, no, no. Wolverine. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but then you lost it later, of course. But you guys? Oh, man. I don't... I can't remember. I mean, I, I remember all my toys having capes. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, with the exception of Batman Beyond. Because <laughs> he had the little wing flaps. Yeah. I mean, those were, those I were really good with, but a little accessories I lose. As a child, did you prefer, like, soft good capes? Or did you want, like, the, the hard plastic where they, like, made it look like it was flowing? Hell, as a kid and an adult, I prefer soft goods. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't, like... Hinder them. Hinder it. Stop, yeah. I'm the exact same. One yeah. big, hard, bulky capes for you. <laughs> so you're coming yeah. through here. No, yeah. I think it's okay when they do ones for, like the the Superman figure arts where it's got articulation, but mm -hmm. it still could be better. Oh, yeah, I mean, opinion. yeah, I've got that that figure, and I would prefer it to have a cloth cape. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm so pumped for that Batman vs Superman Mesco uh, mm -hmm. figures when they come in. Mm -hmm. uh, we're getting those. We're getting two. We're getting, we're getting, we're we're getting two we're of those. We're getting still, two of each. <laughs> <laughs> one of one of each is coming home with me. So you guys are gonna have to fight for the other ones. <laughs> Let me find another action figure one here. But in the meantime, we'll talk about the TV that Sean's got in the AFA room. Mm -hmm. Right, Sean? That's right. <laughs> Sean's like, yeah, what of it? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's from '82. That's a rear projection. <laughs> no. <laughs> But we'll, we'll, we'll go and talk about that. So we're putting up a television in the AFA room, and we're gonna put like old commercials. And stuff I think on Sean's got a three-hour playlist, right? Nice. Of thirty-second commercials. And wow. And we might. We we're hoping to extend it, or even be able to switch out the playlist, because we'll all. I know you guys will get tired of seeing the same things if you mm -hmm. do happen to be here to uh, loop it twice. <laughs> There's people that come in for about six hours. Um, but Sean would blow his brains out sitting next to the office. <laughs> so it won't just be the same thing. We'll constantly be working on it, but we'll give you guys some entertainment while you're here. Yeah. Um, this next one was um, basically just. Um, Those about 360 commercials. Wow. Uh, That's a lot. And was, you'll memorize them all. Watch. Oh god. Some of them are from the <laughs> 90s. I don't know if I'll memorize them all. <laughs> uh, entire GI Joes because they would break. And then like, you had like, yep. the legs and the upper body, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. which can be fixed. And is a service that we offer here at Dallas Vintage mm -hmm. Toys. When I'd when was say, like the big bin grenades? Mm -hmm. About like that big. When was it that it clicked and people realized that they could chase the O rings? Probably when your figure broke. Yeah. Really? Like no, I mean like and then you just automatically would... knew where to go get an O ring from and. Sometimes they use rubber bands that glued it together. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've had Frankenstein figures where there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different pieces. Like, help me! <laughs> I just assume it was just like a day, like, in, like just one day in 2002, people woke up and realized we can all fix these that. toys. We can join together and fix these toys. I imagine it probably wasn't until around then that they maybe started producing the actual O rings, o -rings. for that. Um, I I can remember my dad you know using like rubber bands to mm -hmm. try and fix them before and you know it never really worked oh no it's too they're too big yeah they're too wide yeah, well i think he would like he'd cut them and then yeah tie okay them oh and, you know but still it didn't work because they, they'd wrap around each other really yeah. easily and oh no when when my o-rings went out that was it that toy was broken oh i can remember having an entire fleet of amputee gi joes when yeah. i was a kid like and that's the torso force, and that's the leg force, and there we go. <laughs> I was a handy dandy I'm over filled. here. I was a handy dandy over here. I just assumed my toys were useless at that point. <laughs> Sean's like, went to the Why warehouse of it? Ninja Turtle throwing stars. Yeah, and Sean just went and uh, he'd go and sell them to the neighborhood kids. No, this is variant. This is yeah, legless. This is legless. Legless. Yeah. this is legless. <laughs> uh, next one on here. Um, is all your He-Man toys ended up naked or vestless? Yes. So we have quite a few naked He-Mans, I yes. think, in the store. Three dollars. I don't think I really took off the chest pieces that much. I mean, no. the weapons really stay in their hand unless you're like... Well, you were a man that always saw value in your toys, so... <laughs> you're the no, exception here, no, man. I used to shoot them up with BB guns and firecrackers. <laughs> But I mean, I think if you if you grew up in the '90s, I think 
that naked He-Man figures were just a staple of any yard sale or flea market. You so, something to. was in the Capri Sun or, uh, I thought you were or the high sea juices house. that we were drinking, man. <laughs> naked like, He-Man. Uh, I think I hear my mom call yeah. me. <laughs> it was some kind of Don't weird sugar in the they basement using, playroom. <laughs> they were using some weird sugar in our drinks back then, man, because everyone was like destroying their toys and putting them naked. I don't think and people <laughs> cared back then. They're like, here you go, drink pure sugar. It's just yeah. powder. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where's that He-Man toy? <laughs> Strip him of his armor. <laughs> drink the sugar. It's from a plant. It's fine. It's got <laughs> vitamin C, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Orange drink. <laughs> exactly. Right. Is that tang? <laughs> yeah, tang. It's a kick in the glass. Uh, Astronauts drink it. That's how they got to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next one um, from the Jurassic Park toys. Mm -hmm. The meat chunk that came yeah. out of the side. <laughs> and then they assembled all the meat chunks to make that. the meat from Rocky <laughs> into an action figure. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dr. Grant was like, man, we sure are in this jungle a lot. I sure wish we had, we had a big I'm hunk of meat from a dinosaur. Wait, every, every uh, Jurassic Park toy we get, though, is just, he's got a bite on him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's like it's that, that one jerk dinosaur 200. from the last movie that mutated. Yeah. <laughs> Going around taking a bite of everybody. <laughs> I, no, I don't like stegosaurs. No. <laughs> you you bred them with raptors. He's <laughs> fast. <laughs> yep. But I can remember having, I had the, uh, Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus? Like Stegosaurus. Mm -hmm. Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. But I can remember playing it. Like, a little <laughs> I can remember, I can remember how many times my Wolverine figure fought my Stegosaurus and, and he, that happened. Wolverine well, was a and jerk just, even in Jurassic Park. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. You know how they do uh, scratch and stuff? Why don't they just do like a uh, scratch and taste on those Jurassic Park Oh toys? no, it's scratch and stuff. You just scratch and it smells like, like beef jerky. Dino <laughs> doo doo. <laughs> That's definitely what dinosaurs smell like. <laughs> <laughs> Spicy. Yeah, right. <laughs> so good to a slow <laughs> Uh, next one here was um, the proton packs that came with the real Ghostbusters. I was still, toys. I wasn't even alive. See, I don't remember Assistance. anyone having that in my neighborhood, but I wonder if the proton beams were as, as fragile as they are now as back then, if they would snap a lot. Because, I mean, they were about like that long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I wonder, you know, like you hit something and just I don't breaks. Or... Well, I can't believe that they could support their own weight after all these years because they're still like nice and. So. If y'all had that toy back in the day, let us know if it broke. Back yes, then after please you do. Bought Seriously, it. but like it's so weird. Do we still have the one? And on the did counter? you repair one? <laughs> what did you use? Super glue. Kind of like the Star Wars uh, seventy-seven lightsaber. Just put a colored toothpick in it. Here you yeah, go. I can't. I so, can't believe that so it's still. So we're talking about the beam yeah, right there. Yeah, and I can't believe that it's still able to like. You think this would just be like, ugh, like all drooped down? But after all these years, I mean, this guy feels real like like clay. Oh no, I'm not a ghost. <laughs> Don't cross the streams. <laughs> that's that's good uh, public restroom etiquette. Yes, yes. <laughs> Come here often. <laughs> uh, what's next on the list? Uh, Mighty Max, but everything. Only the bad guys. I can remember when I was a kid, I didn't get super into Mighty Max, but I probably had like five or well, six. Probably because uh, didn't Mighty Max come with every, he was single, every single one? one. So I can remember having like six. Max figures, but mm -hmm. I always lose like the bad guys. They fight each other. Hey, Max, how, <laughs> how is that? I don't know. I mean, what? stupid things like I can't remember like taking my Mighty Maxes to like the beach, oh. and it was just like, well, of course I'm gonna lose it in the sand. But like, just you know, the just put it in a bottle and threw it. I did. <laughs> but just the bad guy. I attached a shuriken to him and threw him in the ocean. Oh, <laughs> it ended yeah. up in that warehouse. <laughs> that didn't make any sense to me. It's kind of like your dog went to a farm, your toys went to a warehouse. <laughs> I love those tiny figures, man. I'm going to look into buying the Digimon equivalents. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. I used to have those when I was a kid. It'd be like, oh, come on, you'll pop them open. It's got the whole... It's like a two-story place that though. It's actually pretty big. Mm -hmm. Take yeah. that Terminator. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> I don't know if this one is, is rel rel or, uh, relevant to YouTube, but um, the Toxic Crusader figures. Okay, Toxy, the lead, he comes with a mop. Yeah. I can remember, and the, the thing is, every you lost everything except the mop, because I can remember having that mop up until like I was like 18, 19 years old. See you later. Bye, Henry. <laughs> Bye. You really made it. R.I.P. <laughs> All right, rest in peace, Henry Velasquez. We will miss you. Um, but I can remember having that toy, even like as a like adult, like, and you know I'd gotten rid of the action figure, 
You know, I don't think I've some reason ever seen the show. Well, yeah. but, this one's uh, wasn't that a little risque I've heard? What? The movies are very risque. It's not really for like children. The, oh, I thought they were radar. The, the they are. The cart they made a cartoon though that was like okay. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. the movie though. The movie, yeah, the movie well, was. Well, they had a Robocop mo uh, cartoon and. <laughs> yeah. I, swear, I think the movies were actually like NC 17. Like they were very risque. Yeah. Like, they were borderline like pornography sometimes. But that's toxic. Well, before favorite. you went to the pornography, though, I was about to say, take your kids. <laughs> and you're like, pornography? I'm like, don't take oh. your kids. Mm -hmm. For the Toxic Crusaders? Really? Yeah, I heard I it's so. like really oh. uh, risque. I've only ever seen the part where he like just comes out of the ground and that's it. Like, I think it was just channel surfing. Oh, that's that not happened. the entire movie. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> well, there's like, there's like five of them, I think. I think yeah. they got worse as they went. Wow. Uh, but I'm not sure. You know. I'm surprised this guy has the wrong. flag. If I'm completely wrong, correct me, please. Yes, in the yes. comment section below. In the comments below, below <laughs> after you hit the like button and subscribe. And you subscribe. Yep, please. Oh, and send me money. <laughs> what about like Transformers? I mean, they came with tons of stuff. Yeah. Oh, that was actually on here. Was uh, what was what were those? I mean, what was that? Well, like when we were going through the combiners, mm -hmm. like the vintage mm -hmm. G1s. I mean, that's like five or six guys. Yeah. And then they each came with like <laughs> two weapons, two, two small weapons, like two to five accessories that snap on. The one and, thing I always yeah, see like, missing is Soundwave's missiles. I always see those missing. We have we have a few. Well, it came with three, one yeah. launcher shot, the other wasn't, and they turn in the batteries that go in the compartment mm -hmm. in the back. And yeah, and it's like, you can keep the batteries, but here we have some Transformers. See, because I think like Superion, they only came with like one black weapon each, so that one didn't really come with a lot. But yeah. if you look at like Minasaur and then those other ones, this it's like... comes with like two apiece, man. I mean, you have to take a book out and double check. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, here comes homework. Yeah. Well, this one is... Um, the detachable heads from Transformers. Oh, the headmasters. Like head those masters. are the figures, though. Yeah. We just actually got in a bunch of those. I was going to say, yeah, What's we got a bunch of those. Henry, why don't you go take a trip? <laughs> no. Go for a walk. Nope. <laughs> go find more toys for us. But, uh, Where are those? I, I can't. Those are in the warehouse, I think. You took them back there. But we, anyway, we, we got a bunch of those, so and they all have their You can also subscribe to Dad's Vintage Toys on Instagram Facebook and Facebook. So, so if you want to see a bunch of uh, Transformer heads, yeah. Well, if you want to see if you want to see your feed <laughs> blow up with toys, yeah. Follow. What's us. in your best? It's in your best interest to follow both because I'm real back and forth about which one I want to post on. Mm -hmm. So pay attention to both, please. But I can't tell you how many times I've gone to like a thrift shop or you know like a Goodwill and seen a Transformer sitting there and got real excited. Mm -hmm. Only to pick it up and its head was missing. <laughs> Those, that, and then uh, Optimus Prime's fist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they any came Optimus off with Prime eggs. accessories. Yeah. yeah, true. The hose. You probably have his gun. The hose is pro probably the first thing you lost was the hose. You've been hosed. I lost my, I lost my hose. That's what's sad. He should have quit while he was ahead. Oh. Ah. <laughs> never be the head of a major corporation. <laughs> It's one of these. Uh, I'm twin. subscribed to DVT. <laughs> <laughs> I'm subscribed. <laughs> uh, a toy line that I can remember. I, I, I remember having them, but I, I couldn't remember what they were called. Snailians? Did what? you have those? Never heard of it. Okay. <laughs> they were like these little weird that rubber. must have been a thing in Missouri. <laughs> I guess humid. That's just what a real is? snail on a stick. Give it to, <laughs> give it to poor Andy. <laughs> and why am I talking like from the 1910s? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, say, so yeah. give, give it to that yeah. boy over there. No, no one in Missouri talks like Louisiana's. He'll, he'll, he'll put a shuriken on that, on that little snail and have a good time. That sounds like the East Coast. <laughs> What's going on? Let's just do all the 1890s. All <laughs> yeah, say, <same> snailians. <laughs> Which a toy company made that? Um, Did it say? didn't say. They don't sound fun. They were basically it was like you know from you a, a backwoods forest. It was like <laughs> twice the size of like a muscle. Really? And it was like he it was like a snail I'll have to like look into that. man. You mm -hmm. know, he just had like a snail face. But then they had armor that you clipped onto him. And like I feel like they even had a cartoon. Those damn ninja turtles. But, <laughs> it's just but everything honestly, they inspired. They in like the nineties though, who didn't have a cartoon in a comic book? I had a cartoon in the nineties. They did, yeah. <laughs> no, I did. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's called Henry, the Adventures of Henry Velasquez. We had, yeah. <laughs> we had two episodes. Yeah, we had two episodes. Yeah, the pilot was awesome. Go buy the VHS. But, but I don't have to disagree on that one. The Thundercats launching parts. Oh, just the, the launching. La parts? The launching thing no. for Thundercats toys is what it says. Which I mean, I feel like we never. They see. didn't come with too many accessories, but they do get lost from time to time. Seriously, but. I feel like we see a lot of, especially Lionel, without the sword. I, like, well, Lionel was the only one I've ever seen complete. Yeah, because we've had two, and that's it. No one cared about Mumra. 
I don't think Mama can wear anything, did he? Remember, Mama and I went to the warehouse. He did? He had two swords, a mutt, and a little fancy hat. Ah, okay. Fancy hat. That's how you know you're a super villain right there. Fancy hat. (laughs) Where you have an animal sidekick. Mm Mm-hmm. Snarf. Snarf. (laughs) Snarf. (laughs) Snooch. Snarf. (laughs) Snarf. This one uh, actually is relevant to me recently. Uh, Man, we're back. (laughs) How was that beverage, Henry? (laughs) We had to take a quick commercial break. We had to take... It got it brought to you by what? Sonic? Oh, Sonic. We had to take a drink break. Sonic. Oh, old America's. How did you do with that broke? Oh, I turned it around. Never mind. I didn't want to look like an idiot now. <laughs> uh, Sean, you want to tell the people where they can find us? Because I think this this show is wrapped up. <laughs> <laughs> la 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 la. So yeah, we're open uh, Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 6. Uh, our address is 120 Four Skate Drive, Dallas, Texas, 75243. Find us online at DallasVintageToys.com. Like and subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Facebook. Henry, do you want to tell them what toys we're looking for? Yeah, bring us all, all of your uh, modern Star Wars from 2008 and up. Don't bring me your Power of the Force too. Um, 2008 and up and then modern G.I. Joe. I really want to restock some of those right now. Um, I guess some Black Series would be cool too. Any kind of vintage Star Wars, vintage Star Wars, uh, vintage Star Wars as well. Eight GI Joe figures. Like any loose complete figures or package. Mm-hmm. Definitely, definitely needing some some loose three three quarter inches for the rack over there. It's We're looking not kinda... looking for Beanie Babies. We're not looking for no Beanie, Beanie Babies. babies <laughs> no dolls. We got to we got to chill Beanie out on Legos toys. and Barbies. We got to chill out on those for a little bit. Yeah. Sorry, I guess guys. if you're looking for like boxed vehicles too, right? Um, some jo- a lot of modern Joes. I need those. I definitely would like to have those in the store. And we trade too, so if you want to trade towards hot toys, um, high-end items, bring your items in, we give 80% in trade. Mm -hmm. Show enough. See you today. Thanks for watching, guys.